Hey Axis and Allies players, a good captain here. Welcome to a review of Ottoman Round 8 and Italy Round 8, USA Round 8. So, the Ottomans purchase all infantry, I'm sure. Yes, they did. And I'm gonna, yeah, I mean, all of this is pretty basic stuff, but I will, um, leaving three infantry here is, uh, Um, I, I don't know how to say this. This this is the right move. It's what I want to say. Like that's that is correct. There is actually an incorrect answer, and he knows why he did this. Obviously, but I, I know why he did this. But for any of you who don't understand why he left three, why would you leave three? Here's the argument for why uh, not leaving more than one here. I have the British have three armor, so uh, why why leave? A number that is, in, in other words, I can take those off the board, and what's the difference between one and three? You're not going to do any damage to the attacking British, and three is actually the right answer in this case. At the tactical level, this is the right move tactically, because the Italians would be able to shuttle in two infantry if he left less than three. Let's say he left two, or worse, and perhaps more intuitive, one. If the Italians shuttle into infantry, even though there's no coastal bombardment because there's a contested territory and you can only do that on amphib attacks, and this is not an amphib attack, you still have two attacking infantry. Two attacking infantry hit on 54 or 55%, I think, of chance of getting at least one kill. And if those failed, the French could do the same thing. They could pull off a fellow from Transjordan or one from Piedmont and drop in two more. So there's a there is a potential to make four hits because the Entente could bring in four pieces prior to the uh, Ottoman turn. Uh, so th this is a good hedge. Three. Three is... Here, here, let's just, let's just pull up some stats real quick. Let's actually look at this. Here it is in raw, in the most raw form. If you ask the gods of probability to give you three hits with four two attackers, which is what we're looking at in this case, right? If we wanted to clear the uh, Ottomans of this territory prior to the British turn so that the British can launch an early and very decisive attack on Constantinople, then we would have to send in two Italians and then two French. What is the actual possibility of doing this? It's 11%, 11.11% to be even more precise. If he had left a fourth uh, infantry behind, it would go to point uh, one point two percent. If he'd left only two, forty almost yeah forty one percent, right? And of course, if he left one, uh, the Entente would be a fool not to try to clear that and release the British to attack. So that's uh, this is the stuff that I look at I do this constantly in every game I play uh, just to because I'm a, a nerd when it comes to probabilities I like looking at stuff like this and uh, when you do it enough it becomes intuitive so uh, and this is my third rodeo you know I went through Axis and Allies Classic playing an ungodly number of games and I still play that and Anniversary almost the same thing except I don't play that one anymore I haven't played it in a year. I shouldn't say I don't play it. But that one's... Anyway, that's a different video. Okay, so... Um, yeah. I'll tip my hat to that little number there. That's, that's just an... I, honestly, if you'd left... If, if, if he had left... If the Ottomans had two in there, I'd, I'd go for it. I would, I would roll at, at, at 40% and see if I could knock them out to get the Brits into Constantinople to turn early. But as it is, I'm just going to uh, sit on my hat. So we're going to go, we're just going to play basic straight axis and allies this turn. Nothing crazy. Uh, we'll just pack it in, in fact. I don't think I want to ram these boats up in here. Um, push. Cal Italy's pretty easy. 
I think that's it. This has got to be the this this might be more boring than USA. Um, I'm not sure. It's definitely a competition. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's see. Yep. I feel like I'm missing something, but eh, we're good. Okay, Italian NCM, there is none, so let's go drop them in. And we've got another turn of five before a turn of four. So, uh, we arrive at the USA's turn, all infantry, and we just do a shuck shuck. Uh, just paint by numbers and push. Uh, yeah. That's how simple it is. Okay. Boats. Uh, oh, who gives it? I don't think I care. Drop in the seven and end this. So that's it. Six eighty to eleven hundred. Hmm. Ninety four to one fifteen. At any rate, thanks for watching this. All the best from the good captain, and bye.